second. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. If you are following our channel, you might be aware of our homemade force feedback gaming setup, which has wheel, analog pedals, handbrake, paddle shifters, and head shifter. So this setup runs on EMC Lite firmware. Using the same setup, we have uploaded few gameplays. We have received many comments asking us to show the steps to configure this wheel in the game. So in today's video, I will be showing you the complete steps to configure this controller in Mudrunner. First, I will connect the controller to the computer USB port and open EMC Lite user interface. Before opening the game, we will make sure all our inputs are working fine. For the steering, we can check here and pedals. are fine. So we don't have any option to check the button inputs here. For that, go to control panel, view devices and printers, you will be able to see EMC, right click, game controller settings, properties. You can check other inputs here as well. If you trigger any button input, it should be detected here. So with this, we can confirm all our inputs are working as expected. Now I'll open the Mudrunner game. Here go to controls. We can see keyboard, controller and wheel. Select the wheel option. First click on this accelerator and start moving the pedal. It automatically gets assigned. In the same way, do it for brake and wheel. If any of the controls are working inverted, while playing game, you can select this invert option to reverse the inputs. If you have additional buttons, you can configure it for the below controls. Next, to enable force feedback, you can check this FFB option. At last, enable this option for manual gearbox and clutch. Configure the clutch pedal and the individual gear inputs one by one. That's it the controls. Now we'll jump into the game.
in the same way we have uploaded the configuration steps for Euro Truck Simulator 2. If you have missed that video, visit the link from the description box. I hope this video will help you. If you have any doubts, let me know in the comment section below. In the coming days, I'll be showing similar configuration steps for other games like WRC and Forza. Stay tuned and subscribe for more interesting videos. Thank you for watching. We'll be back in the next one.